Okay, so you saw the title. Yes, I'm quitting, but it's not what you think. As many of you know, I just hit GC over in the Road to SSL 2v2 series. But as many of you have pointed out, I've actually never hit SSL in twos. My peak 2v2 rank is GC3. And so instead of making you guys watch me slowly grind things out at a 51% win rate, I decided it'd be easier to first get SSL in 3v3. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And since I'm a coach first and player second, I'm planning to make this series as educational as possible using all the info I've gathered from coaching over 2,000 players to date. So sit back, relax, and hopefully this video helps you guys, especially if you're at the lower ranks and want to learn more about how to rank up in threes. Basically, for anyone feeling hard stuck or inconsistent with your progress, I want to let you know my coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap that helped almost 2K players rank up in just six weeks or less is now officially reopening for our 2.0 launch. Plus, to celebrate our 2.0 launch, our newest coach, apparently Jack, is actually going to be doing a 60-minute live training inside for everyone in this coming season of the program. So bottom line, if you're watching between the plat through champ ranks and you want to learn how to get that GC or even SSL title without having to watch a million different YouTube videos, DM me on Discord with the keyword in and we can talk details about coaching. I'll have my Discord first link in the description below. Plus, as a bonus for our 2.0 launch, we're giving just just the first 100 people who DM me a full $100 off the program. Otherwise, welcome to episode one of the new series. Enjoy. Also, just a quick note from the future here. During my placement games, a ton of opponents were leaving, and most of these first couple ones were honestly boring. So instead, we're going to highlight down this first episode, and I'll show you just the best moments. And then in the next couple ones, we'll of course show the uncut games that'll hopefully be a little higher quality and more valuable for you to actually learn from. We'll get back to it. Should be an easy one then. All right, my team, I see one guy cheating. I see one guy going, so I'm gonna go back. And here, just like once again, this touch is hard if, you know, I'm new to the, if I'm new to the game. And it's much easier if you just wait back and let the ball ro roll down. Let everybody else on the field drive at it and just be the one back. Just waiting until it's completely clean, completely free. And then going for my shot. So there's something called like the 70-30 rule on offense. Basically, you want to be 70% of the distance to where you think the ball's going to be, but no farther. So you never want to push up right next to the ball unless you're committed to going. And that's the problem like low rank players make. Like they just sit under the ball at all times. Like even this Rattles guy here has better control. Like when you just wait back and then fly, makes it a lot easier. Wait back, let my teammate go for it. They see him. And here we'll just wait back. Rettles is gonna. <laughs> I just slow down. You know, if nobody's going, you can. You have time to slow down. And now we're gonna rotate back post. As 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 usual. They get a nice shot on that. Was not expecting that. I, I could have been ready for that. Way back. Ball comes center. Hit off backboard. He looks like he's going. So I'll just wait back. What rank is this? This is 717, but these guys are all four, 400 MMR, so I don't know. Oh, ball's coming on net. Try to get in the way. Play back post. Wait till shot comes. Nope, no shot's coming. And I'll be free. These guys are 500 MMR. We'll cheat up. Ball's going to come center. Looks like he's back, so I'm just going to wait. And unexpected, ball goes there, but that's fine. Like, you don't want to... You don't want to play the whiff per se. You want to, you want to cover the most, most likely outcome. The ball's gonna come around here, and they'll, that'll pinch into our net. I should have more quickly gotten back post here when I realize I'm stacked on top of all my teammates. That's my mistake. Make a road to GC on keyboard. I don't even know what my controls are. Shift, right jumps, left is boost. That, that flips me. <laughs> we we could we could try the rest on keyboard. We'll we'll do that for the for the final episodes of uh, our placements here. We'll switch it over to KBM. I don't really know the controls, but we're figuring it out. Okay, left and right is left and right, and space is ball cam. All right, we're just gonna do a simple kickoff. I'm gonna rotate back to my corner here, so that way I have a wide view of the play. It looks like. There's a lot of chaos here, so I'm just gonna keep turning, play back, and wait till it's absolutely clean, free, safe. My, 
I, I don't trust that he's going to hit that, but he actually does. Fair enough. So I'm going to have to... Eh. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I need to learn how to half flip. If I could half flip there, that would be helpful. Ball's going to come high here. Can hit it across. Maybe get a cut in. All right, fair enough. Cover the net. He's going to blitz it past. Get one bounce up. Flip into it forward. I can still go for this ball before I rotate out because I'm much closer to my teammates. I know they're all behind me. And now I'll let them go because I've been going for quite a while. And I'll just wait back. This is kind of questionable. They look like they're going, so I'm not going to go. I'm just going to try to force this to my corner, and then maybe I can get a boom. He wants to go. Okay, that's fine. Try to get across the field. Rotate wide and make it easy. Okay, my teammate misses it, so I'm going to have to try to get back. I see my teammate going out of my... My vision, so I can wait back. Looks like nobody's going. Hello there. Hello. How are you? Just kidding. All three of my teammates went. Should have known. And we almost get a save. I'm going to turn off ball cam so I can hit it up to the wall. And wait till it comes down. Can't quite get a hit, so I'll just rotate all the way around. Now get back post. I have boost, so I can kind of stay close to the play. Ball will come center for me, and I want to go there, but that's all right. Teammate hits it. Here I'm just not going to use jump, just drive up the wall, hit it center, make some progress, and I don't know what to say. You don't actually have to score goals at this rank, you just have to put it near their net, and then they score goals on themselves. Don't worry about scoring goals, just don't get scored on. Look for demos while I rotate. Nope, not able to get it. Ball's going to come center here, might be able to get, we can. So it's okay to push up if, you know, the center's right there. I'm still waiting to make sure everybody misses at the last second, and then I finally go. So we're going to cheat up in this formation here, and we're just going to do a simple flip and wait for the ball. Holy. Okay. He rotates a very wide back, so I'm going to play up a little bit more. Just driving to try to block his angle. Nice. He hits it behind me. I'll play back. Here, I don't want to push across because I'm scared a shot might come. You know, if I'm faster, I can maybe save that, but I should I should have probably checked upfield to see when the ball was coming, but my teammate goes for like an air dribble off the wall and but that's kind of generally that's what you want to do in those situations. You want to position back post, keep the net in front, and sometimes they'll put a good shot on. So you just say nice shot and move on. Nice, he completely misses. That guy gives the ball to me, so I'll go for a shot. Immediately when I finish my touch, I rotate out, get boost, and now come back around. They look awkward here. Ball's coming up the wall. So I'm going to do a single jump and try to hit it forward. Fair enough. Rotate back here. Stick along these boost pads in the center while I wait. All, everybody on my team is facing backwards, so I want to face forwards. Keep it in the corner where it's safe, and then I can get a good 50. Rotate back around. Make sure it stays in the corner. Nobody attacks, and then rotate out. I'm going to stay back here just at midfield because nobody on my team is playing back. So somebody has to. It's like if you just wait back and wait your turn in these rotations, the game is quite easy. But when you don't, that's when it gets hard. Here I'm just going to use a single jump to boom it downfield as far as I can. My teammate actually gets an insane redirect. What the heck? We'll play back right here. Going to half flip back to the boost. This ball's coming center. He's coming across, so I'm just going to wait. They all miss. Teammates are challenging. Now that I see nobody's going for the ball, I'll wait for my turn. He looks like he's challenging, so I'm just going to slow down. Once again, they're all up, so there's no point in me going up. I'm just going to be the one that's back and at 100 boost at all times. That way, when I want to go for a shot, it's just free. I'm going to move across the play here. You could see Radial Magicians pushing up, so I'm going to wait back while he goes. And they're just farming. I'll cheat up here. He looks like he might boom this off the wall, so I'm just going to wait back. Nice, he does. My teammate looks like he's going, so I don't want to double commit. And now... Nobody on my team is going yet, but he gets a heavy first touch. So I'll play. Take my time. Hit one up. Get a big beat over the others. And now I can rotate back. Be the last one back. Have boost. Once again, they boom it really hard. So I'll just wait back. Get one touch there. That puts it by him. I can get a little bit physical with this guy. And now that I see the balls over here, I'm going to rotate out. Move along my back post. Watch the play make sure no shots are coming. Ball will come center. Like, 
if my teammate lets me go there, I have a much better touch. But, like, he's not rotating in circles. He's just rotating up and back. So he doesn't understand, like, when somebody has a better angle than him. Everybody's moving in. Of course, that's easy for me to say. But, like, everybody's just moving in up and down the field as opposed to moving in circles. So it's like people don't realize when they have time. Notice how after I hit the ball, I can just ro rotate wide. I continue driving all the way around the play. And then I'm always the one behind. Like, I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard, and we're convincingly winning. This is the thing you have to understand about ranking up in 3v3. You do not need to be at the top of the leaderboard to win the game. All right. We got Wif Khalifa. Okay. Interesting kickoff. Once again, just play the safe option. Okay. He just whiffs. So I'll get one hit forward. Cut into the right. Cut into the left. A little, maybe a little bit too much power side control. I'm just going to be the one at midfield. I check to see my teammate. He's not going. This guy takes it off the wall. Sweet. He chucks it to my teammate. So now I'll get behind my teammate and move across the field. And now we'll play back with low boost. This ball is going to come off the wall. There's no rush to me for me to go. I'm just going to focus on covering the net. Because my team's not back yet. And just keep playing what needs to be covered. Because nobody on my team's back. We have tons of time here because the play is moving slow. So I'll go grab boost. And now because I'm covering a part of the field that nobody's covering. Like, I don't, I don't even have to faster. I don't have to do anything. Like, I, I feel like I've scored, like, four goals that way. Just playing that side of the field. Boys. What are we doing? I'm gonna double jump to hit it out. Okay. Stop bumping me. And then that guy challenges when his teammate's already gone. Double jump over one. Nice. Double jump over two. I'll be the first over here so I get another free ball. One soft touch. And hit it for him. Keep rotating through. Nice. He saves the ball that wasn't in. Nice. Nobody's in the center. And I miss. But we get a goal. In 3v3, you'll notice like I'm I always shoot very, very high. Because there's so much there's so much opportunities for follow-ups that you get those hits under the ball. You just jump, flip under. Like good things happen, even if you miss. You either score high or it comes back out and you get goals. As long as you're not full sending. And we get placed diamond three div four. If you're watching and you're in threes and you're stuck anything below diamond two or three you need to really reevaluate how often you go for the ball because you're not losing because you're going for the ball not enough. You, you probably don't need to fly for the ball more if you're at that rank, at least from what I just saw in those games. And if you just play third man and understand that it's okay to not be on the ball at all times, that seemed like the secret sauce. Everybody tuned in the chat. Thank you so much. If you want to be notified when we go live next, I have no stream schedule. So definitely follow the Instagram below. That's really the only place I post when I do go live. Make sure you hit the follow button and turn on the bell. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll catch you all soon. Peace, peace.